so hello everyone and once again i am here with you all and today in this video we are going we are going to discuss about kinds of property under property law so let's get started so kinds of properties under property law so property is basically of two types corporeal property and incorporeal property corporeal property is visible and tangible whereas in corporeal property is not moreover corporeal property is the right of ownership in material things whereas incorporeal property is an incorporeal right in rem corporeal property is further categorized into movable and immovable property incorporeal property is classified into two categories that is in reproporia and right in li alina or incumbrance so corporeal and incorporeal properties these are the two categories of properties that exist corporeal property has a tangible existence in the world and is related to material things such as land house ornaments silver gold etc incorporeal property is intangible because its existence is neither visible nor tangible right of easement and copyright are incorporeal property movable and immovable property all corporeal property may either be movable or immovable in nature the basis of this kind of classification is the portability of the object the two categories are discussed as follows section 3 of the general clauses act 1897 section 2 6 of the indian registration act 1908 defines the term immovable property it includes land things attached and embedded in the land on the other hand movable property includes an corporeal any corporeal property which is not immovable property or may include furniture stationary items etc the concept of immovable property holds greater importance and has elaborately been dealt with under indian statutes the following mentioned are judicially recognized as immovable property right of way right to collect the rent of immovable property right of ferry mortgagor's right to redeem the mortgage Uh, the interest of the mortgage in immovable property right of fishery right is collect right to collect lakhs of trees on the other hand the following are not judicially recognized by as immovable property there are standing timber growing crops grass uh, royalty a decree of sale or sales of immovable property on a mortgage a right of the purchaser to have land registered in the name right to recover maintenance allowance even though it is charged through immovable property the above mentioned lists are not exhaustive and are subject to judicial interpretation from time to time public property and private property with reference to the concept of ownership property may be classified into public and private the two kinds are as discussed below uh, public property is owned by the public as such as governmental capacity in other words it is owned by the government and used to use for the beneficial use uh, of the public in general a park or a government hospital is a public property private property is that property which is owned by a particular individual or some other private person a residential house for a citizen may be his private property real and personal property the distinction between real and personal property basically originated from roman law and it still exist in england the two categories are discussed as real property means all rights over land recognized by law personal property means all the proprietary rights whether they are right in rem or in personam right in re aliena and right in re proporia uh, that is uh, right in re aliena are also sometimes referred to as encumbrances these are the rights of specific user uh these prevent the owner from exercising some definite right in reference to his property lease security and trust may be included under this category right in repropria repro uh, are immaterial forms of property these are product of human skill and labor patent copyright and commercial goodwill may be included under this category also in this video we will be talking about intellectual property too so what's the meaning of the intellectual property is intellectual property is 
creation of intellect or wisdom or of the human mind it is related to intellectual innovation and innovation in the literary scientific and artistic fields nations around the world are making efforts towards protecting intellectual property one another reason is to recognize the way of statute the economic rights of creators of these intellectual properties another reason is the urge of promote urge to promote creativity amongst the masses which will in the long run contribute to the environment comprising of only fair trade practices so those rights do not apply to the physical object in which the creation may be embodied but instead of intellectual creation as such so the kinds of intellectual property intellectual property may be classified into various categories that are patent a patent is a kind of property that is intellectual worth attached to it it is exclusive right granted for an invention which is product which are result of a person's ability of doing something or offers a new technological solution for a problem trademark another widely popular form of intellectual property is a trademark trademark is a sign capable of distinguishing goods and services of one enterprise from another these are basically a means to protect the unique identity of renowned brands it enables a customer to recognize the brand or the product instantly without being misled copyright copyright is available to the creators of literary dramatic musical artistic producer of cinematographs acts or sound recording it determines whether in what conditions the original work may be used by person other than the owner of the unique intellectual property Ge geographical indicators uh, it is it is an indicator used to use on products having a specific geographical origin or possess qualities that exist due to their basic origin the sign must identify a product as originating in a given place and the quality characteristics or reputation should be due to the place or region recently rasgulla from odisha and kadaknath chicken from madhya pradesh has been granted the geographical indication tag in india industrial design industrial design is related to the products which are a part of industrial setup it refers to the shape configuration color or pattern which may be an ornamental or aesthetic aspect of a product and trade secret trade secret in simpler terms implies the strategy adopted by the owner of the business it may be an confidential business information which provides an organization with a complete edge in the world market of the respective product it deals with a trade secret is an initial step for an investor it is essential that the idea or formula behind the unique trade opportunity remains secreted commercial goodwill commercial goodwill is a prominent form of incorporeal right the goodwill of a commercial business is a valuable right acquired by the owner by his labor and skill the owner has the exclusive right of use and profit from the business and anyone who seeks to make use of it by falsely representing to the public that he is himself carrying on the business is question shall be violating um, this right so an overview of the intellectual property is that thus it's now clear that the concept of intellectual property is one that covers within its ambit very different kinds of intangible property rights every product which is a part of the world market enc encompasses one or the more kinds of intellectual properties right discussed discussed above so by this i end my video here thank you so much and hope you have all have understood well thank you stay safe stay healthy